Hi guys, in today's video I'll show you a fun and creative way to make a super cool car speed ramp edit in your kitchen, or in any room or location you want, using free 3D car models. Let's get started. First we need to place an object where we want the car to appear. This helps us remember the position and keep it centered in the frame. I'll use this lens cap because it's small, dark, and easy to track. Next grab your camera or phone and start filming the object you placed, in my case, the lens cap. Make sure the object stays centered in the frame, and record several clips. Around 10 to 15 clips will be enough for a quick speed ramp edit. Once you have all the clips ready, import them into After Effects and create a new composition to begin editing. The first thing we're going to do is trim the clip at the beginning and the end. To trim the beginning, hold Alt and press the opening bracket key. Next trim the end by holding Alt and pressing the closing bracket key. Once that's done, pre-compose the clip. Rename the pre-comp to Clip 1, make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, and then click OK. Now move that layer to the beginning of the timeline and double click it to open the pre-comp inside the pre-comp, select the clip and click track camera to start the camera tracking. Once the analysis is complete, select the tracking points that are on the object we're using. Right click on the selected points and choose create solid and camera. Make sure the solid fits the surface perfectly. If it doesn't, adjust the rotation until it aligns correctly. Next drag and drop the free 3D car model into the composition. To download free models, check the video description, I'll leave a link there. To make the 3D car fit the scene perfectly and stay accurately tracked, Hold shift on your keyboard and use the pick whip to link it to the track solid layer. This will attach the car to the track surface, so it follows the camera movement correctly. Next scale the car until its size matches the scene. Let's quickly preview the video to check if the car is tracked correctly. That looks good, so now we can create a quick speed ramp using this clip. Before that, I'll rotate the car so it faces toward the camera. This works better for me because I want the video to start from the front of the car. Once everything is set, we can toggle off the track solid layer. After that, close the pre-comp and return to the main composition. In the main comp, apply the warp stabilizer effect to stabilize the video and smooth out any unwanted camera shake. After the analysis is complete, pre-compose the layer once again. Now click Stabilize Motion to begin locking the stabilization. Zoom in slightly so the car is clearly visible. Next drag the track point directly onto the headlight to lock the stabilization to that area. Make the track point slightly larger. The outer box defines the search area, which helps After Effects find the feature if it moves. The inner box defines the feature being tracked and should stay tightly around the headlight. Now click Options. Choose RGB and enable Adapt feature on every frame, then click OK. Next click Analyze Forward and wait for it to finish analyzing. Once it's done, click apply and then hit ok now close the tracking window and make sure to enable the proportional grid this will help us identify the exact center of the video but first let's fix the black edges caused by the stabilization press s on the keyboard and scale the clip slightly until the edges disappear after that center the clip to lock onto the subject which in my case is the headlight let's quickly preview the stabilization and check if the video is locked in properly Everything looks great. Now we can pre-compose the layer once more and start speed ramping the clip. Right-click the layer, go to time, and choose enable time remapping. Scroll forward to the point where you want the speed ramp to end, and move the last keyframe to that point to speed up the video. Next cut the remaining part of the layer and delete it. Select both time remap keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, and open the graph editor. Right-click in the graph editor, choose edit value graph, and create a smooth curve similar to mine. Close the graph editor and preview the speed ramp. And there we go, we've created a fake 3D car speed ramp video. You can continue the same process with the rest of your clips to create a full 3D car speed ramp edit. Here I've added another clip. I'll add a shake from the AM Film Shakes pack to enhance the transition between the two clips. That looks good. Now imagine doing the same thing outdoors, somewhere on the road. If this video gets 10,000 views or more, I'll make a follow-up tutorial showing how to create a fake car speed ramp outside. In that tutorial, I'll also show how to use 3D lights to make the video look more realistic, and how to work with any 3D car to make the edit 10 times better. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.